Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I'm doing a build collab with Simply Obsessed. Um, I was driving around my neighborhood when I saw this house and I just had to recreate it in The Sims. Um, I actually get quite a bit of my inspiration from just normal houses that I see every day. But this one I drove by it and I was like, yeah, no, I have to build that. It looked um, a little bit different, but also very realistic, I guess. Like in The Sims, I knew it would look like a realistic house. And lately I've been wanting to do more realistic houses and I've actually been building quite a few houses that I've, I've seen in my neighborhood. So I did feel like a total creep going on Google Maps and finding this house so I could recreate it. But I think it turned out really well and I'm super excited to see the finished product. Um, I knew that I did not want to furnish this house, I just wanted to build it and see what someone else had in mind for the furnishing because obviously I don't know what the inside looks like, I have no idea what the floor plan would be um, because I, I, I didn't creep that hard. I didn't want to actually go into their house and look at it. So um, I thought it'd be kind of cool if someone else furnished the inside. So what I did is built this house posted a picture on Twitter and asked if anyone wanted to collab with me and furnish it and Simply Obsessed commented and said she would do it and uh, so I, I messaged her right away and she said she could have it done in four days which is really impressive because this is a pretty big house um, especially for a collab usually most of the collabs I've done have been smaller houses um, so this one I thought was gonna take quite a while but I'm very excited to see what it's gonna be like um, I do have the, the shell of the house on the gallery if anyone wants to download it. Um, my origin ID is SimQueen1992 and I did actually put in a kitchen for this house when I was building. I did cut it out because obviously I, I took the kitchen out before I put it on the gallery because I'd much rather see what Simply Obsessed is going to do with it. but. Um, I was just trying to get a feel for the size of the house and the floor plan and things like that. So you might see um, later on, if you're looking through the windows, just um, little snippets of the kitchen at the back of the house there, but um, the final version has no kitchen. And I actually did do the floor plan as well upstairs here. I was struggling trying to make a balcony there. I had the worst luck with those because the roof always wants to clip as soon as you make an open balcony and it just drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just, I put two bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. Of course, she can make those anything she wants. And then I did put another bedroom with an ensuite bathroom on the main floor. And I told her just, you know, add whatever you want, change whatever you want when it comes to the floor plan. Um, whatever makes it easiest. I think I put in a fireplace as well, but she certainly doesn't have to keep that there either. Um, it just kind of... When I'm, when I'm furnishing houses for a collab, I kind of like to have a bit of sense of direction from the builder about where they kind of intended things to go or um, just a little bit of guidance, I guess, because when you go in and it's just a big empty shell, it kind of makes it a little bit harder. And so I thought it'd be a little easier for her if I did have a bit of a floor plan. And now I'm just kind of building a little deck in the front. And I actually did do quite a bit of the landscaping um, nothing much for the backyard. I did make a backyard, but I didn't really put anything back there. Um, for the front yard, I just added like bushes and plants, and I think it ended up looking really good actually. Um, but again, I told her she could add whatever she wanted. And I did think that back room there could possibly be like a laundry room or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what it's actually going to look like. It's always more interesting to see what someone else comes up with. Um, because, I mean, this, you could go anywhere with this, especially on that right side of the house. It's completely open. Um, you could, she could add more walls there. Um, I, yeah, I really, I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but right here at the back where I'm putting those lights in is actually where I ended up putting the kitchen. And uh, now in that window, you can kind of see that there is a kitchen inside there. Um, so I was just trying to play around a little bit and see just how difficult this house would be to furnish. Um, so I did make a back deck area here, which I really like. I like how there's two back doors and the stairs kind of um, connect almost to each other. So the backyard looks really good. I did put a fence as well to make it look a little more finished. And I think it looks really good. I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, it was one of those houses where I just thought like, I, I never really intended on furnishing it. I just really wanted to do the outside um, because of course I was inspired by a real house. And um, see what someone else could come up with for the inside. So here I'm just doing some landscaping, adding these bushes here that I use a lot. I do wish they came in different colors, like darker greens would be nice. Um, I just feel like they're too bright and I don't, I don't really love the colors that they come in, but we're pretty limited. So I just kind of 
made do with what we have in the game and added a few trees. I think I put a couple in the backyard, but I can't quite remember. And then I had this idea to do these tiny little walls and make like a raised um, like flower bed idea for the front of the house. So um, I, I don't know how that, I haven't decided how if I like that or not that much. It's kind of, I don't, I don't know. I think I like it, but I've never really seen it done before. So it's hard to decide. Um, whenever I, I feel like I came up with something or not really came up with it, but try something new that I've never seen done before, I'm sure it's totally been done, but um, I always need a second opinion before I can decide if I like it or not. Um, so yeah, the raised flower bed is a little bit different and now just adding some more windows to the outside of the house, trying to line them up, make them look good. Um, I always want the, out the windows to look good from the outside more than the inside. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> for me, it's it, it all has to line up and look good. Um, now just adding some more bushes and flowers to the front of the house here. Um, again, I told her she could add whatever she wanted, so uh, the backyard could probably use a little bit more because I didn't, didn't spend too much time back there. I did put in a pool and then I took it out because I thought, no, I, she could probably come up with something better than that. So just adding the final touches like the mailbox and that is pretty much it for this, um, I guess, speed build, but not speed furnish. Um, be sure to check out Simply Obsessed channel, which I will link in the description so you can go check that out and her final version of this house. Thanks for watching.